Hello, hello, konnichiwa. This is It's Bono Nanko, and we are back with new Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony Chapter 1. Now, apparently, someone's at our door, so let's check it out. The intercom is someone at the door? I quickly wipe my tears and open the door. Aw, Shuichi. Kaede, are you alright? Aw, he came here as soon as. Aw, he knew that something was up. Oh, Shuichi. Um, what do you mean? I'm not sad, if that's what you're wondering. Oh. Kaede, it's not your fault. Huh? The underground passage was a trap. It was a trap to get us to think we could survive and work together, then crush our hopes. Uh, I know that, but I just wanted to escape with everyone. But, but it's alright now. Everything is over, right? Kaede, I know how you feel. I believe in you. Oh. Oh, that's really sweet, considering like what happens with Shuichi later on with Kaito and all. <gasps> what? You believe in me? Ikana. There's something I have to tell you. Will you come to the library with me? The library? What's gotten into Shuichi all of a sudden? He wants to take us for a date in the library. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Eto. Hey, what did he want to talk to me about? I-I'd like to talk to you in the library. Will you come with me, please? Absolutely. Why- I would never miss an opportunity to go out to the library with Shuichi. <laughs> what happens with Jeremy? Uh, that's my room. <laughs> I want to talk in the library. Oh, why can't we go in your room, huh, Shuichi? Why can't we talk in there? Kaede, we should go to the library. Ah, uh, fine. Wait, where are you anyway? Oh, you're here. Oh, Kirimi's over there too. So, what did you want to talk about? I want to talk in the library. Could you come with me, please? Absolutely. Kirimi, what are you doing here? I'm waiting until someone is in need. Someone in need of my service approaches me. Huh? So you're just waiting? Kurumi, you aren't our maid. You don't have to do that. As I have said, my only desire is to fulfill the desires of others. Until we escape, I intend to serve everyone. If either of you have a request to make of me, please do not hesitate to ask. Uh, okay, I'm fine for now. Uh, I think I'm okay, too. I see. The ultimate maid is so impressive. She's so thorough. Yeah, Kirimi's um, such a good girl. She's like really one of the characters that you wish would have stayed because <laughs> of how useful she is. And yeah, she really could have helped them out in later chapters if she wasn't so reckless. Anyway, she's right beside Rio in this room. <laughs> uh, okay, continuing on. Okay, let's go to the library. Oh wait, there oh there's a bunch of people around here. Uh Gonta. How are you doing, Gonta? Mm. What's the matter, Gonta? Searching for something? There are no bugs here after all. Oh yeah, you did mention that before. Gonta trying to understand why. Ah, uh, that's right. Of course the ultimate entomologist would notice that. Yeah, he'd probably be curious about how there aren't any bugs in this kind of environment. Gonta have no idea, but... Gonta not give up. Gentlemen not give up that easy. Uh -huh. So Gonta go search even more. Aw, Gonta is so optimistic. Very refreshing. And she probably yeah. won't, yeah. Kaede, we should go to the library. Got it. Okay, I'll get all the like little um, Monokuma toys later. During the free time time couple. Anyway, hey Mia, what are you doing over here? Hey, look at you two! Out for a walk together, huh? Why don't you pick up some rubbers over at the warehouse? Better safe than sorry. <gasps> what? We don't need those! 
What? He must be a real skank to let dudes. Uh, okay, and okay. I refuse to say that out loud. By day, you're mm, the piano keys. You're playing the piano, and at night, you're okay. <laughs> one of the best commentary, though, like, or just one of the best comments that Mew makes. <laughs> he really is funny. <laughs> I have to admit that. Sh shut the heck up. What kind of girl do you think I am? Yeah, Kaede, show your. Not show your strength, but like. Yeah, prove your worth. <laughs> she kind of looks like an octo octopus. It, it was a joke. I was trying to lighten the mood a little. Let's ignore her, Kaede. We have to focus. Right, we need to head to the library. Oh my god, that was hilarious. Hey, what happens if we talk to you again? <laughs> oh my god, I can't laugh. I'm so sorry. My, I'm really losing my voice. A hat wearing prim and a flippin' skank. You two are made for each other. Okay. Kaede is fighting the urge to slap Mew in the face. <laughs> oh yeah, Mew does say some of the best things. Kyo. Oh, sweet. Love, love. Okay. Hey, Kyo. Who would have expected our foe to die in such a way? What a disappointing ending. <laughs> in any event... It means the situation is over. I can go home and spend time with sister. Okay, TMI. Oh, you have a sister, Kyo? Oh, okay, it is so oblivious. I guess, obviously, she wouldn't have known. I bet she's worried about you. Uh, that's probably true for everyone's family, including mine. Yeah, I guess we never really learn about anyone's family. We only know Kyo's family and, um... We learn a bit about Ron Tarl's family and his free time events, and also Kaito's family from his Moto video. And a bit about Shuichi. Sister is terribly lonely. I need to get back to her as soon as possible. I need to get back to my parents and friends too. Okay, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna stay away. I say that as I talk to him again. Sister is terribly lonely. I need to get back to her as soon as possible and give her more friends. Goodness, Kyo. Okay. Um, Kaito, Kaito, how are you doing? Where do you go? Oh my god. Okay. I hit what that happens. Oh. See, it's just like I said. Huh? Well, it's just like you said. Sometimes you gotta be a little reckless to make your dreams a reality. Huh? What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Huh? What do you mean? It's thanks to me we defeated Monokuma, right? <laughs> I mean, in some ways, but... <laughs> I still don't know how to get out of here, but the number one threat is gone now. Ah, uh, Kaito, to be honest, what you did was really dangerous. <laughs> Thank you, Shuichi, for time. Wow, I was a little nervous. Just a little. Come on, Shuichi, read the mood. Kaito's trying to show off in front of Kaede. <laughs> but now we know the universe is watching. That bear got the cosmic justice he deserved. <laughs> Kaito. The universe is always on the side of those who push the limits and never give up. Uh, um, I guess? <laughs> anyway, Monokum is gone now thanks to me. All we gotta do is escape. Uh, and of course, Shuichi's suspect of that. Suspicious about what Kaito is saying. Wait, I need to talk to him again. Yeah, it's too bad we couldn't talk to Gota twice. Or can we? Is he. I thought I saw him leave. Monokum is gone now, thanks to me. All we gotta do is escape. But how do we do that? <laughs> That's the important thing. Uh, yeah, Gonta's gone now, huh? And we. Yeah. So we just have a few people over here. Hey, Maki! Are you going back to that underground passageway? Oh, I guess it is over here. Huh? Why are you asking me that all of a sudden? You don't think this is over, do you? Your attitude earlier gave it away. Aww. And I guess you take on that passageway with her, since you two seem so chummy. 
Oh, Maki's well. giving your dad credit. Aw, poor Shuichi. Uh, I'm not trying to take anyone's side. Is it that obvious? You guys are free to do whatever you want. Just leave the rest of us out of it. Fine then, we'll escape without you. She's kind of unpleasant, isn't she? <laughs> uh, this is where the training trio began. <laughs> Kaida has nothing to say to that. Not like, oh, you shouldn't say that. That's not very nice. This, yep. <laughs> I agree with that. Hey, Tsumugi. Hey, is, so is the shuttle bus coming or not? I've been waiting for a while now. I don't think a bus is gonna come. This whole place is surrounded by a caged wall. Oh, yeah. Um, it's just that it's customary to come back from a con by bus. I travel by bus even in summer and winter. The bus driver sings she sea shanties for me. <laughs> in the past, I was saddled with debt, but now I'm proud owner of my very own home. Is this an Animal Crossing reference? What is she talking about? Never mind, it's just plain unimportant. Well, anyway, since this wall is so big, I wonder how the bus would even get in here. Well, yeah. Would a bus really be able to get here? <laughs> oh man, imagine if like the game really just ended right then and there. Okay, I think we should go to the library. Yeah. <laughs> like if they just got to leave. Also the building, I've never like really looked at things. I'm sorry, I'm so distracted by the scenery and everything. Oh wait, we need to- I'm so sorry. <laughs> we need to talk to Tsumugi again. I guess Maki left. Since wall's so big, I wonder how anyone would get in here to rescue us. Who knows? Okay, to the library. Oh, these two are here. Hey, Tenko. Tenko, what are you doing? I was hoping I could learn more about magic from Himiko. I definitely want to incorporate magic into Neo Aikido. Is, I, is Neo Aikido just any kind of interesting thing that Tenko learns? <laughs> Mushed into one. Please tell me, Himiko, what sort of training did you, do you usually do? I told you I get tired talking about it. Oh, and, uh, it's kind of like in chapter four when with like the secret hidden event with Shuichi, Himiko, and Gonta in Tenko's lab, where like Shuichi trains, or not Shuichi, Himiko trains Shuichi and Gonta with like magical poses. Then I'll massage your back so you won't get tired. I wouldn't mind if you rested your head on my lap either. Tenko, Tenko, it's showing. Showing. Stop it. That's weird. <laughs> oh my god, Tenko. <laughs> Let me know when you get tired. I'll carry you, Himiko. Oh, and Himiko also asks for the um for a piggyback ride in chapter four. Chapter four, right? Or maybe no, is it chapter? It's chapter five. I said that's weird. Leave me alone. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it is kind of weird. You've known each other for not even 24 hours. Yeah. Hey, you guys. Save me from this conversation. <laughs> What's the matter, Himiko? We're not done talking yet, are we? <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, that's the same. <laughs> I love that. Okay, is there anyone anywhere else? I guess I should check the map. I can't- wait, what? Rontaro's here. Oh, is he in here? I'll like, sh check that. Or is he- oh, he might be down in the hall, yeah. Okay. Um, and I'm guessing, yeah, there's no one else. Because it won't let us go upstairs anyway. Yeah, because usually you'd think he'd be right here, but nope. Hey, Rontaro. Hey there, you two. Something wrong? Oh, and he's right by the stairs to the basement, too. I wonder if he checked that. No, nothing's wrong. Hey, Rontaro. You said there's someone behind all this, right? That Monokuma is just a puppet? 
I did say that, but you know what? It's just a hunch. Oh yeah, he wants to make sure that they don't get too suspicious of each other. I sure wouldn't complain if that's how it turned how it all turned out though. So ominous. And away he goes. Yeah, and Chuichi's thinking about it. Oh, I wish we could talk more with him. And I'm guessing nobody's in the hallway, right? Oh, I didn't mean to walk away. Kaido, we should go to the library. Yes. Library. So cluttered. I thought I cleaned this up. Like before, the empty library is filled with the scent of old musty books. I wouldn't call this library very empty. Okay, before I say anything else, I want you to promise me that you'll keep this a secret. Okay, got it. Shuichi looked relieved and smiled. Aww. Like a great detective, he began to explain in exacting detail. This library has books scattered everywhere, even books lying on top of the bookcases. But take a look at this bookcase. It's the only one in the library with no books on top. How he pays attention, like, really carefully. Oh, that one. Huh, you're right. Mm. Also, you can see that the floor in front of the bookcase has noticeable markings. Mm -hmm. You're right. What is this? He really does sound like Kyogo when he, um, he's talking about things like this. I noticed the markings the first time I came here with you when we met Maki. This morning, I came back to investigate, and that's when I found this. He then walked over to the bookcase, placed his hands between the gap. Ramble, ramble. If you ever need an onomatopoeia, just look at a visual novel. Especially Danganronpa, with like the closing arguments. And move the bookcase. <laughs> The door looks like a vault, or like the bookcase looks like a vault, and then yeah, it's a very ominous door. A door? First I need- oh wait, whoa, this is a cool perspective. We don't usually get to see it from here. I think, yeah, this is probably the only time we get to look at the library facing the front door. Kaede is so far away. <laughs> From Shuichi. Obviously, it's probably not supposed to be in this perspective. But... Are we not getting any points? Oh, we got one. Okay. Okay, there we go. Hey, Shuichi. So, this is what you wanted to show me. That's why I want you to come here with me. There is something unique about this door. Take a closer look. Yes, sir. Opening the moving bookcase. I never would have thought this bookcase could move. What about this globe? Oh, there's a door behind the bookcase and that pattern. A black and white door. That would be a cool door to have. I would definitely go into an elevator that looks like that. It does look like it could be um, the elevator to go into the trial grounds. That would have been interesting if like Shuichi and Kaede investigated the trial room before they even went in there initially. The pattern on the hidden door is black and white. Just like Monokuma. Yeah. Hey, do you think this door is connected to Monokuma somehow? Sorewa. I think it might be, but I don't know anything for sure. This door has a card reader lock, so I can't open it. Are? You can? Iikana. But the very fact that this door is here makes me consider a certain possibility. Ooh. I love Shuichi's sprite. He looks so cool. There is a chance that one of us here is cooperating with Monokuma. Eh? Huh? Cooperating with Monokuma? And he comes to this idea like right from the beginning. I'm not- Kyoko probably did have an idea about this. Um, yeah, so she probably would have thought that like obviously Monokuma is a robot. He couldn't just be doing everything he does on his own. Um, but obviously the difference is Kyoko didn't have anyone to tell this to while Shuichi is like right in the beginning telling Kaede, a complete stranger, about these kinds of really important things. 
Well, wait a minute, what do you mean by that? It's only a hypothesis right now, but consider this. Why would there be a hidden door here? Good question. If it were solely for Monokuma's use, he wouldn't need to hide it. He could just have the monocup so the exocells protected and keep it in plain sight. In plain sight? However, I can think of one reason that this door would be hidden. For one of us to sneak in and use it without anyone else noticing. Maybe, but I can't believe someone in our group could be working with Monokuma. I'm, you've known them for, like, basically one day, not even. I can't believe it either. That's why, to confirm my suspicions, I decided to set a little trap on, the car on this card reader. There we go, ultimate detective. I sprinkled some dust inside the card reader so that I could tell if it was used. Of course, I was careful to make sure the dust wouldn't come loose accidentally. And I don't think the person swiping their card would notice or care about a little dust. That's true. I mean, I feel like they would still realize that, oh, why is this dusty? I just used this like a day ago. Oh, wait, sorry. So, if we see dust on the floor, that means one of us used this, used this door, right? Well, as I mentioned before, this is all just a hypothesis. I have no evidence yet. But if it is true, then, even if Monokuma is gone, this isn't going to end, Kaede. Oh. Uh, anyway, that's what I had to tell you. Of course, I don't expect you to believe me. I just wanted to tell you, no matter what. Chuichi. Mm. Yeah. Aww, he trusts us. <laughs> like, a lot to tell us something like this. Well, let's head back. We shouldn't stay here too long. Yeah, that's true. If someone walked in on us, that would be very suspicious. After putting the mo moving bookcase back into place, we cautiously left the library. Kaede, please don't tell anyone what I show you. I don't want to cause a panic. Mm. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, that, yeah, if they told everyone, that would cause everyone to, like, freak out and really, like, point fingers at each other. Having made our promise, we return to our own rooms. And if only they could have teamed up with Rontaro. Yeah, if Kaede, Shuichi, Rontaro, and Kokichi all work together, like, they would be unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> it's just him. What a lovely announcement. Thank you so much, Monadam. Honestly, the best announcement, though, since they didn't say anything. Just one? The other Monocubs aren't here to bury Monokuma? Well, anyway, what Chuichi told me earlier is really disturbing. One of us is cooperating with Monokuma. It's just so hard to believe. But Chuichi trusts me. That's why he told me, right? But then again, because of that, Kaede could trust Shuichi, and then later Shuichi was the mastermind, and because yeah, this basically almost clears Shuichi, because why would the mastermind reveal to one of the other characters about like this hidden door? That would kind of make you think that, oh, then Shuichi's definitely not the mastermind, but they could have always switched that or made him the first killer of the first case. Which would have been a twist, but not as much as what actually happens. Then maybe I should believe it. Monokuma Theater! <laughs> I love that little, like, gif of Monokuma rolling thing. <laughs> Ooh, wow, we're already out of material. Like, closing time at a sushi restaurant. Oh, I could go for some sushi. When a series lasts for several seasons, eventually it'll run out of material. My memory has been awful lately. I wonder if it's because of how long this series has been going. <laughs> yeah, Dong- Oh, and it's even worse. Like, for us, we only know uh, Trigger Happy Havoc, Dong STR2, um, UDG, and this game, and then like a few novels. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, 
in like the v3 world it's been going on for a lot longer <laughs> wow wait what season are we on again what material have we shown so far yeah that it kind of shows that they do repeat a lot of things which isn't so much of a surprise when people get bored of it because they've done so much wow the foreshadowing <laughs> Jeez, I don't remember. Maybe it's because they've released so many at this point. Yeah. Oh well, anyway, we need new material for the Monokuma Theater. Please send your manuscripts along with a $1,000 application fee. I guess like these Monokuma Theaters are basically almost um, like the little scenes they play in between commercials or, or like commercial breaks, like right before or right after they play something like this or at the end of an episode, technically, of V3, if they did, like, show this on TV. If your entry is selected, you can receive a $100 gift card. <laughs> wow, so, yeah, I mean, you pay $900 and your scene gets to be on <laughs> Danganronpa. What a generous prize! Don't miss this opportunity! Send your applications today! Along with your credit card number. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Ding dong, bing bong. And Monodem's the only one here today. <laughs> it's already morning. I didn't sleep well last night. Yesterday's conversation is still on my mind. I wonder what everyone else is doing. Are they already gathered at the dining hall? Mm. I guess I'll go for now. Okay, well, I guess we'll head to the dining hall in the next video. So, I can't wait to see you all then. Bye!